Welcome everybody to Iran versus Turkmenistan. I gotta find a link to the to the game. That's what I gotta do. I don't know about you guys, but make sure everybody you drop me your score predictions as well. Welcome everyone to the stream. Welcome, welcome. We're already going 4-1 to Iran. Paris Police is saying 4-0 to Iran. This game is in Iran, so I'd expect a good result from us. Look at Persian League. I'll see if this uh, link works. If it doesn't, then... We're, we're, we're I'm trying to sort that out as we speak, guys. I don't have a link to the game. Ellie Jeff is saying go to Persian League. Ryan is saying 5 0 to Iran. I don't care. Honestly, we're going to do it. What do we think of the lineup, by the way, while we're looking for this uh this link? The game is on score 808. I don't know what that is, but let's look it up. We're all doing this together. I'm on score 808, and Iran's game does not pop up. Sean, search up IRB TV. Okay. It's funny, because usually it's people asking me. Uh, okay, so I found IRB TV 3 live channels. So now that I'm on IRB, where do I go to find the game? Someone's just got to DM me the straight link. That's what I'm thinking needs to happen. Oh, you're saying go to persianleague.com. Okay, just search and then look at the top right bar well, on the search bar. I think I got it. Is the uh, the one commentator guy talking right now? I think I got it. How are we all feeling? Yeah, I'm just catching up with some of the other results um, in uh, Asian qualifiers. We want to quickly go through that as well. Uh, I heard South Korea tied to Thailand. Not really great for them. We'll quickly glance through them. I'm excited for these games today. I'm hoping Jamaica pulls up an upset and we see this. Can Mexico finally do well in the Nations League? I'm quite interested by it.
All right, so going through Qatar still plays Kuwait, Afghanistan, India, Japan beats North Korea. Interesting. Yeah, South Korea tying to Thailand is kind of crazy to me. I mean, Sun played in everything. And Kim Min Jae. Interesting. Uzbekistan basically books their spot. Iran will too with a pretty convincing win. Indonesia beats Vietnam. All that hype Maxwell gives Vietnam just for them to be absolute dog water. And Australia beats Lebanon. Okay, good stuff. What do we think of the lineup? Uh, Baron Vaught in goal. Probably would have wanted to see Nios Mander, Hossein Hosseini, Hanani. Oh, man, I can't believe he's back. And I really wanted to see Salman Fala play at center back. Happy to see Hazbavis getting his first start. Obviously, that makes him officially cap tied, I believe. Milad Mohamed, he's playing really well now since he's made the move to Turkey. Playing for the same team as Balotelli. Kair Dani, I haven't seen him play in a long time. So I'm pretty happy about that. Oli I think that's great. Strong midfield. The usual suspects. I think, uh, uh, is Tora B not starting? Or no, it's Mohebi. Moha okay, I thought it was Tora B for some reason. But yeah, I mean, it's an okay lineup. I was hoping for more in the game. I think we should have started Fala. Uh, but yeah, yeah, Orbani. Uh, I think I, I think he got called up, didn't he? Right, Ryan. How did South Korea? How did South Korea tie with Thailand? I know it's crazy. Actually, think North Korea is actually solid. For the next World Cup, say Iran do qualify, how uh, far you reckon they can make it with their current team? Um, well, based off the new format, I mean, there's an okay chance that they could maybe make it to the knockout rounds. But I, t I did recently uh, Fortnite Montage Madness. I just did a video I dropped literally yesterday. So watch that. That's kind of like me talking about my expectations going into the next World Cup and all that stuff. So, yeah. If North Korea get a draw in the return game from Japan, Iran will move to the... Oh, really? Dude, it's been a weird downfall for Japan since the World Cup. Good morning from California. Good morning, guys, from Cali. Yeah, the game now the players are out. They're doing national anthem stuff. Uh, yeah, big shout-out to Ellie Jeff. This channel you found for me is perfect. No bad lag or anything. Pretty good quality. Persian League, guys, go there if you want to watch the game. Yeah, I got the day off work today for Iranian New Year's. Gonna have some steps to put mahi probably around lunchtime. So after this game, gonna get myself all ready. Hopefully making that. Gonna do that. I think it's gone better under Durasi. It's obviously not great, but at least now as we, the, the big thing with him is he needs to stop getting hurt consistently. I don't know if you guys can agree with that. As Moon's biggest problem is he starts getting into form, then he gets hurt. As long as he can stay fit for the remainder of this season, go into next season, not obviously get injured preseason, and and you know he needs to be fit. If he's always an option, I think Asmu will get significant minutes. It's gone a lot better, though, since De Rossi has uh, become the head coach. It has gone, His minutes have gone a lot better. Also, these black puffer jackets for Iran are super sick. I kind of would like to get one because I've been trying to get one of those, like, bench puffer jackets. I'd love to get one of these. These look so sick. Okay, my score prediction. Everyone else, before the game starts, we're about to kick off. Everybody drop your score prediction. If you get it right, send me a screenshot, and uh, I'll give you a crisp high five. It's interesting that Macy taught him he's the captain. Well, I mean, I guess John Bash isn't there, but yeah, I'm gonna go with <clears throat> I'm gonna go with a solid four to one win. Four one. I don't think we can clean sheet. 
Uh, Shaheen, I'm going, uh, it's on, look up Persian League and then go to IRB TV3 on the options they have. So it's right there. That's what I did. Shout out to the chat for suggesting me that. When I watch Asmoon, he does well, but he keeps falling every time and he gets the ball and it's annoying so much. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure about the falling part. So you're going 4 nil, 5 nil, 2 nil, 3 1, 3 1. And no, I'm not going to show the game. I'm not doing that anymore. I don't want to risk myself getting copyright struck. I don't want to do that because I don't want to get my channel taken down. So I'm not going to do it. There you go. They're out for the team photos. If you guys need the link to the game, let me know. I can tell you where to go. That's no problem, but I'm not showing the game now. Yeah, as of now, Uzbekistan is uh, topping the group, unfortunately, until we get this big dub. Where can you watch the game? Go to look at Persian League, and you'll find it there, and then go on the IRB TV3. All right, guys, we're on kickoff. It's kickoff time. We all dropped our score predictions. We'll see who's right. We'll see who's wrong. I mean, we're all unanimously, I think we're all we're all going for an Iran win. I think that's a given. Just a matter of, I want us to be cutthroat in this game. I don't know about you guys. I want us to be cutthroat. I want to get a lot of goals on the board. I want us to make a statement win. We win this. We... I mean, we're we're basically through out of the second round of qualification. I mean, more goals we score, the less work we're gonna have to do in the uh, the return leg in Iran against Uzbekistan. Where if we won that game in Uzbekistan, we would have been in even more of a comfortable situation. It's fine though, as long as we thrash Turkmenistan here and in Turkmenistan, it's not a problem. And then, by the way, to everybody, if you didn't get the message in the last video, Happy Noruz, Eid Shoma Mubarak. I just watched uh, Eshan Haj Safi posted a really funny video with him and some of his AK teammates and his coach, which is funny because his coach was like the former uh, San Jose Earthquakes Chivas, uh, Mateus Almada, Alma, yeah, Almeida, something like that. I forgot how to pronounce his last name. And then you see Rodolfo Pizarro, just a bunch of uh, older uh, Chivas players saying, hey, de Noruz. Yeah, happy Noruz, everybody. Only We only have two likes on the stream. Can we bump that up, guys? Can we at least hit the get like 15 or 20? We have over 40 viewers right now. In honor of Noruz, to start off the year right, everyone should be liking the stream. Everyone drop the like for Noruz luck for the game. Each like equals a goal Iran will score in today's game. It's a true statistic. It's a true fact. Mohibi rocking the number 11 now. Dang, the Turkmenistan head coach. I didn't even realize that was the head coach. I thought that was like an assistant coach. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Oh, damn. Oh, 
The Turkmenistan jerseys just look like um, uh, the Turkmenistan kids just look like green t-shirts. It's so funny. Of course, Shaheen. Yeah, I'm watching on the same website I suggested to you. But yeah, guys, everybody, in honor of Nooruz, drop a like on the stream. Let's get this stream to like 50 likes. Easy. More likes, the better luck Iran will get in this game, the more goals they'll score. It's true. When we like smash the like button in that Japan game, that's why we won. Not because Iran persevered, because we liked our, the stream. So if we want that same kind of luck today, we got to do what we got to do. I think the most important part is getting a goal early, setting the tempo. Good pass. Damn, we are just in Turkmenistan's half. Damn, as a Talahi, just returning like a cement truck. Dang, now Turkmenistan are holding possession. I thought we were going to try to really put it to them. I know, it is like Iran's playing Iraq. That's a good shout, honestly. True, true, true. Obviously, everyone that's in the stream now, being an Iran fan, Turkmenistan fan, we don't discriminate. We like fans from the opposition teams as well in the stream. We'll be live as well for the the game in Turkmenistan, I think on the 26th. So we'll be doing a live for that game as well, guys. So make sure to be there for that as well if you enjoy these lives. I'm happy to see goalies are this starting. Did Carlos Kiraj say something after we lost to Qatar? I didn't see it if he did. No idea. Dude, we are putting the press on Turkmenistan right now. Holy smackaroni. I hate that count on East starting. I can't believe. Obviously, I know Maggi Hosseini's hurt, but the fact that Khalilzadeh and uh, Kanani got called up, I'm super annoyed about it, and that was a terrible touch by Mohibi because I don't like either of them, especially with their recent off-the-field antics. Kanani punching a fan outside the team bus or attempting to do it. Khalilzadeh just going back and forth like a little two-year-old with the reporters. Like, bro, oh, such a big ego for such two mid-center backs. Oh, good hit by Golizade. Almost scoring. What did Alenoi have against Golizade in the Asian Cup? I think because Golizade was just coming back from injury. I mean, it was an okay hit. Goalkeeper kind of makes a big meal out of it. It's kind of right at him. Sergio, welcome. You're here for bets. Welcome, welcome. Uh, which TV channel are you watching from? I'm watching it on uh, PersianLeague.com. So if you want to watch it, watch it there. Good corner. Oh, God damn it. By the way, everybody, final reminder, like the stream. We have over 50 of you watching. If everyone likes this, we'll have over 50 likes. Let's get to over 50 likes on the stream. Then we'll have incredible good luck in today's game. Wow, Turkmenistan can't even get out of the press. Why is uh, IAD not starting? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But to be fair, I like Mohebi and Golizade as the wingers. March Madness. I've never done that before. 
I'm not much of a just I'm just a Fuchi ball guy, you know. Oh. Rosinho the goat, guys. Rosinho the goat. Not gonna lie, watching Team Ellie again doesn't hit the same after the shameful. It doesn't. But I will say, uh, I think Lanoi, to keep your uh, comment up, has brought some of us back with his squad call ups. But it's more a matter of he needs to actually play these players in these games. That's the thing, and I think that's where he can win back a lot of fans. Uh, there's more optimism, refreshment, seeing more younger players. Like, but just playing Hasba V today, like Fala maybe should have started. I would have maybe played not Baron Vaughn, another goalkeeper, just because this is like, you know, like a game that Iran's probably gonna win. So might as well, you know, take a little bit of risk. A little bit of risk is not gonna hurt us that detrimentally. Maybe we concede a goal, but that's fine. But give these players some minutes now, because when are you going to give them those minutes, you know? That's my thought process anyway. Uh, I mean, it depends. Obviously, the more later rounds. That's a great pass by the Turkmenistan player. Holy macaroni, Turkmenistan are in our half. Good job, cleared it. Uh, Jonathan, first and foremost, like the stream. Second of all, uh, just go to Persian League and then click on the IRB TV3 Live link on the website. All right, this is a goal. Dude, what are you doing there? Someone trying to hit it on the full volley, and as it's all, you just truck in a player. Oh! Oh my god, Ezra Talahi almost just scored an absolute banger. Oh my god. Dude, I agree to be honest, Shine. We we need to gently push the old gen out. It's not gently, Rezinho. It's like harshly at this point. Bring in the next gen. I know, that's a callback to the old channel name. Huh. I see what you're doing there, Rezinho. See, I talked about this uh, in my recent video. Guys, if you if you guys are big Iran fans, I just uploaded a video yesterday, so after the stream if you want, or maybe at halftime or something, watch my newest video talking about the national team, what I'm hoping for during World Cup qualifiers, and just nice goal, Iran. It's the it's Mr. Bus Boy himself, Kanoni. Bus Boy himself, Kanoni. He's at it again. Everybody, hold your girlfriends back from the bus because Count on he's back. Oh, God. Man, it's the guy I really don't like. I hate that he scored, but I'm happy he scored, if you guys know what I mean. I don't hate that he scored, but it's just because it's Count on e, you know? Oh, plenty of women in the stadium, too. That's always great to see. Who who, who had that cross? Was it Howard Donny as well? It is Haradani. Good for Haradani. Great cross. Yeah, he. that's a... Not going to lie, man. I think Haradani, I'd rather have him than any... I mean, obviously, Mohoramis are starting right back. But I think he should be the backup right back for this team. Great cross. Good header. I think Hasbavi would have had it anyway if Kanani didn't get it. I believe... Um, Ali Brawl stars. I believe he's not playing because he's just coming back from injury. He's still a little bit injured. There you go. Let's adjust that for you guys. Okay. Dude, yay. We're winning against Turkmenistan. We're cooking. Dude, guys, we're back. We could basically win the Asian Cup now if it just started. What I'm hoping for, too, is no injuries to our big players. 
And as well, guys, for the goal, smash the like button. Like it up. Like up the stream. There's over 60, 70 of you guys here. Let's have the stream uh, over like, let's get it over like 100 likes. That's the goal. That is the goal for today's stream. Over 100 likes on the stream. One of these times I'll do like a giveaway for any Raw jersey or one of my jerseys I have or something. I don't know. To be, to be determined, what a player, what a guy. You're right. No, dude, we're going to, hey, all me, good news is, guys, I'm going to be live for all the whole journey to 2026 World Cup and when it is happening. Friendly, friendlies, qualifiers, whatever it may be, we're always going to be live. We're always going to be talking about Iran on this channel. So if you guys like that, you should be subscribed. And then if you want to see the stuff I talk about when it comes to players on the national team, you got to follow me on social media, be it Instagram or Twitter and or both. Oh, there you go. 2 nil, baby. As moon. Nice, guys. We're on the come up. We're on the come up. 2 nil within 13 minutes. Happy to see As moon on the board. I mean, had a filthy, filthy goal in the Europa League against Brighton wrongfully was chopped off dude let's put another 14 out like the cambodia scoreline that's crazy what a flick up by the turkmenistan player good fin i mean it was nothing complex just passing it into the corner it doesn't need to do anything complex all right good that should be the cushion that we need I'd love to see Iran play in the U.S. again or in Canada like they were supposed to before the 2022 World Cup. But they decided to ruin all of our hopes and dreams. So many creators, Iranian creators like Golbazan, Persian Soccer on Twitter, myself, Team Ali Talk, Arya 29 United. Like so many people were going to go to that game. It's ridiculous. And the fact they just canceled it was so stupid. Incredibly, incredibly stupid. No, I don't think it's it's more of a political issue, not a passport issue. All these players have passports. Most of them play in Europe. That should not be a problem. Nice. Good job. Hired Donnie. This guy's a beast, bro. Oh. Iran just won you money. Let's go. You got to help me win me some money by liking the video. You know what I'm surprised about? We haven't had a dono yet in the stream. Are we going to hit a dono? The donos, guys. Oh, Asmu was almost the wrong goal. We're hearing the fans, the do 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 Iran. I don't know. Just donation, donation, donation on the stream. I'm just joking. The donos, the donuts. Dude, a donut sounds so good right now. Iran is playing to get the taste of Qatar game out its mouth. Uh, sure, I guess. I mean, I didn't expect us to lose this game. I didn't think it was going to be that close of a game. What do I think of Iran? Like the team right now? Uh, Ali Brawl Stars, watch my recent video. I'm telling you, man, all the most of these questions we're talking about today, I just did a whole video talking about it. So go over there, drop a comment, like it, watch it. Will I be? Oh. 
Jesus, who just slit? Was that count on E? This is why I don't like him. Uh, I was surprised, disappointed to see Iran lose the guitar after the first time. I don't know. I know. We don't like talking about it. Damn, that would have been a nasty nutmeg if Asmoon pulled that off. Good back heel, but then it just hits his shin. Shoot. Incorrect. Turkmenistan is losing, so they can't be the winners. Um, the one that I'm most highest about so far is Hussein Nijad. He's injured. He was supposed to. He was supposed to probably get called up. I like him a lot. Obviously, everyone loves Syed Manesh. He's the star boy for this team. He just made a move to the Belgian league. It sucks because it's a big step down from the championship in England. But. You know, at least he's getting a lot more minutes. He was starting to get out of favor because he was getting injured so often. I mean, nearly went to MLS, which was atrocious to hear, but yeah. Count on E, back to his tomfoolery. He gets one goal and thinks he's prime messy. He's prime bus messy, if you guys get what I mean. That's true. I mean, you don't make an incorrect point. Just on that day, we were the better team. But I think seven times out of ten, Japan would beat us. Kind of like how Iran lost to the U.S. If political factors weren't such a big thing, nine times out of ten, Iran would beat the USA. That's the thing. It's just unfortunate that one time, all the things went the wrong way for Iran. Because even with all the things that were going on, the external factors, Iran still, like narrowly lost to the U.S., narrowly. It was such a close game. They easily could have tied it, too. If they played for the win, I think they easily could have tied that game and or won it. But for the fact that they tried to play for the draw, that's what set them up for failure. Baron with the long kick. He's trying to play Todd. I mean, it wasn't that great, though, of a kick. Do you also feel like the amount of Iranian youngsters playing abroad is much less? Yes, it is. It is much less. So, again, uh, I did do a video talking about this, like what the senior players can do to help push more of the younger players to go to Europe, like themselves and stuff. So I talked about it. So make sure to watch that video after the stream. Drop a comment, like, all that good stuff. Who's hurt? Is it Talahi? Yeah, it's not the end of the world. Guys, so far we're only at 21 likes on the stream. Can we get this to 50 likes? We're only like, tw like what, 30 away? There's over 40 of you on the stream. Can we get this to 50 likes, this stream to 50 likes? No, it's true. There's, a, there's levels to this, and you're totally right. I agree. Karsa, Tahiti, Kavaz, the new Asmund and Tarami. Well, we'll see. If he, if even one of them decides to commit to play for Iran is the big question. I mean, some of them have gone to Europe. Most of them have been going to the Russian League, which I, I've been have mixed feelings about it, but it's better than them being in Iran, I guess. I, I mean... Not to be too picky. 
So it looks like they're an ambitious group of players for sure. Has Bavi's looking pretty solid so far in this game. I know a clean sheet would do a world of confidence for him. <laughs> I know there's a correlation between the likes and goals. 10 likes for every one goal. So I need us to get a third so we can get to 30. I need five to get us to 50. I want us to get to 50 likes on this stream badly. It's true. And I mean, Kirosh was a big guy pushing players to go to play in Portugal because obviously he's Portuguese. And that's why Mehdi did it. And that's my only one complaint with Kalanui is will he be able to push these players and reward them? Uh, will he reward them for going to Europe, giving them more call up, giving them more game time, and things like that? I think that's the most important part. That was a really bad cross by Mohibi, by the way. I don't know why he forced that so hard. You're the 28th, guys. That means we're only 12 likes away from 50. 12. You're, if you're a Turkmenistan fan, you're an Iran fan, it doesn't matter. One like can maybe help your team get a goal here. They do. They do stream it, but the final round of qualifications, not the second round. We're, after this group stage phase, they will do the final round of qualification. Dude, we've talked about Herbert Renard so much. I think he's still the, wim the w France women's national team coach, I believe. I'd kill to have Harvard Renard. Dude, life would be different if we had that guy. Not only, dude, the guy's a good-looking dude. He's very fit. He's a good coach. He's got that swagger to him. Definitely, I mean, I don't know he's got a little swagger to him, but, dude, I don't know. I mean, one thing that, like, Arya from Golbazan roasts him a lot about was the whole uh, – I think it was an interview he did a little bit shortly after our loss to Qatar. He's like always would say, well, that's just football, like in Farsi. He would always say that for his responses. Like, it's just such a lazy answer. And I'm like, okay, maybe you could say that once or twice. Football, like, I don't know. But he said that a lot, and that kind of irked me a little bit. <clears throat> Amu swagger, exactly. Seriously, it's straight Amu swagger. In the next three years, we would have played a World Cup and another Asian Cup. We need a good starting squad within the next 18 months. <clears throat> I want to start playing more of the young kids. That's the biggest thing. Like, actually playing them. Not just calling them up, just, like, for show. Like, actually playing them, too. And that's guys like Rezaion, who just totally fell asleep for that second goal against the Thief. It needs to be better, for sure. <clears throat> oh, good turn. Just no touch. Been a little dry for me, Ron. Got any national team meeting you're on with Carlos Kirosh? It's sad because we'll never have like a third stint with Kirosh. Like that was definitely the last one, and definitely it was dragged up a little bit. And I'll always appreciate what he did for Iran. And it's just sad. I wish things could have ended better with, like, at least Iran advancing to the next round or, like, something like that, you know?
I need a goal until 30 minutes. Maria, oh, Mariam, struts. Let's forget that game. All right, guys, subconsciously, we're not thinking about it anymore. We're done. No more. Guys, we are only 21 likes away from uh, uh, from 50 likes on the stream, guys. We're super close. We could easily hit it if everyone does their part. Team effort, just like on the field today for Turkmenistan and Iran. Dude, everyone talking about these uh, parlay statistics because everyone put money on this game is crazy. Yeah, definitely that uh that game against England was really tough to watch. That's like the kind of game that we all were always dreading, hoping Iran would never have in a World Cup. Like for example, when we played Argentina in 2014, that's kind of the result we would expect. But obviously that didn't happen. And then same thing in 2018, like in the tough group that we were in, like we were going to get thrashed in at least one of those games. And obviously it didn't. So then going into the England game, we're like, okay, we're not a team that gets thrashed against the big teams. And then we finally got thrashed. Super upsetting. All right. Danny is saying we are finished in what way? Cause I don't think it's totally true. We're not finished. I mean, the... <laughs> Oh, man, I don't like that we're giving so much respect to Turkmenistan to come, like, to have this much freedom in our half. Like, the fact we're playing on the counter is kind of weird, in my opinion. Okay, that was a really bad pass. Oh, good switch field pass by Ezra Talahi. What the hell was that pass by Mohibi? That was a terrible pass. See, man, and I hope the case, this is not the case when Mohibi becomes a merchant and lives off of that one goal he scored against Japan. Because before that game, I was not happy with him. He redeemed himself in that game. But I hope it's not the case if he's just a Qatar, I mean, uh, Japan score merchant like a, a Ramin Rezaian with Wales and Cheshmi with Wales. Like there's they live off of that goal because they've been absolutely dog water outside of that one game and one goal that they scored. That was a really lazy pass by Eza Talahi. But then he makes a good tackle. So I will all respect it. I mean, a lot of people don't like talking about the context. One thing I think is funny is like a guy like Tactical Manager TV who like loves roasting Iran. But then when he gets asked to pose the question, like, but like they had like all this political stuff. Do you have any comments on that? He's like, no comment, but then loves roasting us. Like, dude, it's so brain dead that sometimes with Filippo. 
like the bias is absurd. And that's why I think it's funny because then he tries to clap me back with how I'm biased, but then it's the same exact way with him. But it's funny because the USA weren't even qualified for 2018. They didn't even make it. Yeah, 2018 was a great display. We did enough to get out of the group. Four points usually gets you out of the group. It does. That's the facts. But yeah. What was the name of that small forward guy he scored in Qatar? Who are you talking about? Oh, God, my stream just died. Okay, we're back. Which guy? On what team? How many corners? I don't know how many corners there are. I don't have a parlay in this game. Just look on Foot Mob or something. Oh, are you talking about Kayati? Kayati's not necessarily young. He's not necessarily old. He's just. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty bad foul. All right, let's see how we take this free kick. <laughs> the guy just fell on the ball. That's funny. Really bad tackle there. Two bad tackles. Jesus. In fact, no one got a yellow for that is absurd. Who's going to take it? Oh, Mahdi's going to take it. Never seen my guy score a free kick in his life, but we'll see how this goes. And Milad Mohamadiz as well over it. But it looks like Mehdi is the one who's going to take it. Usually the person that sets the ball down is the one that takes it. I personally thought maybe some Uncle Deuce should take it. I know, dude, Rezinho, they're just talking about corners. It's so random. Let's see it. Oh! Off the crossbar. Actually, it wasn't even that bad of a free kick. Oh, oh, oh. Dang, that free kick was a lot better than I thought it was going to turn out. It was a little central, though, I will say. Yeah, it was a little central. I think... Unless it went off the crossbar and in, I don't think that was going to go in if it was on target. But it wasn't bad. I've never seen Mehdi take a free kick before, so that's quite refreshing. <clears throat> Dang, why did he not just shoot it for himself, Asmoon, there? He doesn't have the technique. Yeah, I don't think he does either. He's more of that PK type of guy. They're replaying the free kick again. Yeah, kind of down the middle. Jeez, Asmoon can... Oh, 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 oh. Asmoon, is he hurt? I hope is not the case. Is it his wiener that he's holding on to? What's going on here? <clears throat> I know, that's why it scares me when I see him on the floor like that. 
I hope he's okay. As I said, the last thing I want is injuries to our big players. Sub predictions. Um, I mean, I like to see Fada come in. I like to see that uh, Azadi guy come in. I think is what his name was. That forward. <clears throat> that pass needed to be so much better, but it was not. You know, Prince of Picks. We did discuss this before the Asian Cup. He had. He did have a good game against Qatar. To be fair to him, he had a really good game against Japan. But it's true, he hasn't had as many big games as you'd hope he would have for his quality for the national team. That's the unfortunate part for sure. I don't think, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys saw, but there's reports that Fulham are going to try to sign him if he doesn't stay with uh, Roma. I would like that move actually quite a bit because I don't think uh, Leverkusen are keeping him. I think that's like almost guaranteed. So I don't think we'll see Asmoon with Unless, like, Bonnie face gets sold, like, something dramatic and they need a forward and they can't sign anybody, then maybe, but. Okay, to say this is really extreme. Giassi's artist has not even hit any of the close heights that Azamun has. I get it, but it's not a good, re like, comparison or reference. Oh, yeah, huh. I mean, does he? he? But he has to get, like, a certain amount of, like, games played to be part of that Bundesliga title, I believe. Like, if he got loaned out midway through the year, he definitely would have gotten the title if they won it. Yeah, and he's going to replace Mitrovic in great fashion. The thing is, they have Raul Jimenez right now. I don't know if that was a permanent transfer. Who else does Fulham have as strikers? Raul Jimenez and someone else. I know Armando Broya is on loan right now. But permanently on the team, they have someone else too, and I don't remember who it is. I don't know if they play with one striker or two strikers, though. Oof, good turn by Colizade. Looking like his vintage self right there. I'm surprised it's only 2-0. No. Yeah, Dejaga the king. I'm still to this day trying to find a Dejaga Fulham kit. I don't think I'll ever find it, but I can believe. I can always believe. That yeah, one day I'll be able to get it. One day. Looks like we're going to hit the halftime with just a 2 0 lead. And the ball goes out. <clears throat> That's true, too. That's true, too. I mean, he had his one good game, good ish, okay game against England. I think he lives off of that a lot. That's a good point. I mean, I, again, I talked about it. Sorry. I talked about it in the recent video that I don't see if Mathy keeps up poor form like this, why he should be still getting called up to the national team. That's just me too. And the referee just blocked a great possible pass by Odus Saman.
I mean, we used to be, we used to have a lot of feeder players go there. Like a lot of our top players back in the day played in the Bundesliga. So at least there could be that connection and that opening for more of our players. But yeah, we don't see anybody. Asmund's the only one. I think that's a good shout, HKAR. I think that's a good, good shout. Oh, no. Oh, no. As Moon pulled up. No, no, no. No. This is not good. It's a hammy. No. Oh, no. The one thing I didn't want to happen. I think he should have subbed him out after that first knock, but uh, I wouldn't risk him. I just stopped playing him. You have plenty of other people that could do the job. We're really bringing on Norof gone. That's not a striker, though. Bring on side, Monash. Sub him out. There's no reason to keep playing him. At least he's walking. That's a good sign. At least he's walking, but... Just sub out as moon. We don't need to force him on against Turkmenistan. <clears throat> yeah, we have, I think his name's like Azadi or something. And then we have Side Manesh as well. Dude, just take off as moon. Stop bringing him back in the game. I don't care if there's only two minutes. Just don't risk it. Don't make it any worse. He's already been down twice. God, I, I really don't want to see as moon be hurt already. Yeah, he's literally signaling make a sub. He is struggling. Where, why did we not make it after the first time he went down? Rezinho, am I right? Is that the other Ford that we brought on that people were kind of hyped about? Azadi, I think is what his name was. I hope this is not a serious injury. Seriously, that's literally how uh, the, the, the life goes with this coach. <laughs> 64 corners. I know. Why is everyone just... It's not a good look based off of his reaction. He scores, and now he's hurt. I hope it's nothing serious. I'm really hoping it's not. Who are we bringing on? It's Omi Norof Khan. So I'm curious what the plan is with that. Dude, these substitution boards are crazy. Oh, that was almost a really bad giveaway by Hardani. So who goes up to forward? Oh, whoa. Seriously, you think as moon injuries, I don't think it's long term. I mean, they subbed him out immediately. 
I hope this is maybe like a week or two thing. It's just he just started getting into the groove of things with Roma under De Rossi. That's the thing that annoys me, and this is going to be another setback for him. Dude, I swear, the only reason the chat is just popping is because of these guys that keep just saying total corners, corners, corners. I don't know why. I mean, it's fine. I mean, it does well for the vi the live, but like... I don't like uh, Gol Mohammadi. I, I don't think that's. I don't think we should bring in Yaya. Maybe Nekunam once he's ready. But no reason to rush that and ruin that possibility because that's always like a trump card we have, as we can bring him in. Wow, that was a very nippy pass by Baron Bond. Good pass. Don't know how that's not a foul. Rezinha, you think Nekunam's ass? You don't think he'll ever be the national team coach? I'm not saying right now either. He needs to get a little bit better, but I don't think he's ass, per se. I think he's overrated now, Mihti taught me. I think he's overrated now because he hasn't done much since like the World Cup leading up to it and whatnot. I'm telling you, Fortnite montage madness. You got to watch the new video. I talk about all this stuff. Man, I can't believe Asmoon's already hurt. I mean, we'll find out hopefully later today the severity of his uh, possible injury, and I hope it's nothing too serious. That was a bad, bad pass. And that's halftime, team. Halftime. Yeah, the game has really slowed down quite a bit. <sighs> yeah, he is out of form. He's been out of form because of the whole transfer saga stuff. I'm happy we're winning, but at what cost? As Moon getting hurt really pisses me off. I don't think he's ass. Well, I mean, I don't think he's bad. I don't think it's that extreme, but he's been out of form, yes. The next Asian Cup is actually in three years instead of four. It's a few months after the World Cup. That is going to impact players mentally for the Asian Cup because of the World Cup. Yeah, true, true, true. Uh, let me know what you guys want to do for halftime. Uh, well, we're at halftime. I'm going to go use the restroom quickly. Uh, if you want to scroll through Twitter, we can do that. So let me know. I'm going to go use the restroom. I'll be right back.
Dang, you guys have uh, guys have kept up what's going on in the chat. All right, let's see what you guys have been saying. Mm. I don't think that will necessarily be the case, but it could happen if he keeps up this kind of form. <clears throat> I will say, I think Glady did get shafted. I mean, he played really well every game he had in the Asian Cup and then just stopped getting minutes. Yeah, Mohebi, definitely, again, I'm hoping he's not just a Japan merchant because of his one good game. As Moon, despite a lack of playing time for Leverkusen and Roma, when he does play, he could be playing for a top five team in the top five team in the Prem. Interesting. I think uh, Edgar will probably maybe just see like a 3-0. I think we'll maybe see one more goal. One or two being a push. What do you mean he sold? In what way? What did he sell in? He did against, I think, the top team in the in the league. He got man of the match and everything. This is why we shouldn't have started our good players like that. I don't think it was a problem, but after Asmoon was obviously got like he was on the floor the first time, we probably should have just pulled them off then. That's my opinion anyway. Definitely more impressed with Asmoon. I remember last year, two years ago, Tatami would steal the spotlight from Asmoon. I think it's reversed a little bit, but still not entirely. Yeah, I agree. I think we should have start. We should start them. I think we should have brought on Ali here. Maybe we might at halftime. I don't know. Yeah, Hard Donny's having a good game. For sure, I think he's playing well. Do you think we would have played better against Qatar if Tottenham was bench? Yes, hindsight's twenty twenty though. But yeah, I totally think we would have. We played better without him in Japan. I feel like without Tottenham, we play as a team rather than relying on him so much. Yes, one hundred percent. Getting a lot of no's. When you play D, no, I don't think, I mean, yeah, sure. R Golizad has been playing well. Keep him in. Bring on Kaya D. I think so, too. I think he should be our second choice right back behind Mohorami when he's fit, but not, but... As of now, I think he should be our starting right back. That's my opinion, anyway. Tottenham is, prob is probably not professional enough if he lets transfer talks get to his head for a full season. A lot of players have transfer talks in their heads. It's true. It is very true. I agree. Oh, that would be a crazy game. Don't tease me like that. That's a crazy good midfield. Moebi should go to a top five league, maybe a mid table team in the Bundes. I mean, Moebi should just make a better move than the Russian league, and we'll truly see how he is. That's just my opinion. Do you guys want me to put Twitter up for a little bit for us to scroll through that? I can do that and see what people are saying. I mean, there's probably not much talk. I mean, this isn't one of our more important qualifier games, but it never hurts to just go through and see what people are saying. Share this tab. Okay, we're on Twitter now. By the way, guys, if you're not already, follow me on Twitter. This is a place to be. Halftime, you're on Turkmenistan. S-A-H. I like this guy. He's pretty good at when he talks about the national. Polizad is showing us why he's our best winger. As it's law, he's clearly too good for the UAE League. Wouldn't necessarily that's 100% true, but, I mean, the fact that he's not playing in Europe is so annoying. Hazwabi, great as expected. Hired on the impressive. Hopefully, yeah, uh, Asmund's injury is not long-term or that big of a deal. That's what I'm thinking. Half time from us. Oh, wow. Nike to be uh, Japan's new sponsor. What is this? No way. We are close to finalizing a move for Andars. 
to a club in Spain? Yo, guys. This is huge. I need to catch up with you guys. Yeah, I, I hope Nurlah, he apologizes too, because he's been doing really well, yes. Dude, this is huge if this is true. Humongo, guys. That's awesome to see. Mm. LOL, we suck. Oh, that is very unfortunate. It's not a big deal, though. I don't, it doesn't affect. I wanted to read the Leon Bailey stuff. Oh, wow. Is he? Damn, that's a big blow for uh, Jamaica, if that's true. Oh, this kid looks sick. Holland. LOL. What is this? Let's see what people in the replies were saying. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing else people are really saying. That's crazy. Persian college basketball. We have a Iranian playing in the March Madness. Ali Forko. Borok Manesh? That's crazy. Oh no, on this day in 2010. That's funny. I didn't even know that we had people that played basketball. Yeah, was Jurgen Klinsman really the problem? No. I didn't think he was, but that's just me. What the fuck is this? A Burger King employee filmed herself stealing customers' debit card information. Wow, that's uh, super smart. What stops this England team from winning the Euros and World Cup? Here's Bajeshmi. That's crazy. That is crazy. All right, I'm going to read back to what you guys are saying. I apologize for the lack of looking at the... I know, our U17 team is sick. It looks like all of them are really taken to stride. Because, like, most of them, as I said earlier on in the stream, most of those U17 players are going are, have went and or are going to the Russian League, so it's a good start. I still take it. Don't get our hopes up. I still take it. I mean, we we called up the goalkeeper. I think that was a total like hoax. But uh, I probably won't do a recap. Um. Uh for this game i usually do them for the more of the bigger game so come like the final rounds of world cup qualification i'll probably do reviews for them john there's a player named parsa fala who plays in the ncaa like for basketball it's cool if he is i have a i didn't realize a lot of you guys care a lot about basketball but i have a signed memphis grizzlies hamid had the d jersey in this back closet i got that when i met him I want to wrestle at an Iranian event that he was at. I got that. John likes hers with Jeshmi. I don't like hers with Jeshmi. I agree. Fourth choice goalkeeper. Yeah, see, I like, I think 
in my opinion, this should be our goalkeeping list. I think it should be Hossein Hosseini, Paymon Nielsman, and uh, Shakari. That sh- Baramont should be done. Sorry, not sorry. That's the truth. And I don't care who starts over Niazman or Hosseini. Either or. I do not care. UG, welcome to the stream, bro. As Moon hurt, scoring and getting hurt, if you missed out on it. Don't know, we don't know the severity of it. He's grabbing his hamstring after running. It's not a good sign. Hopefully it's nothing serious. But that news about uh, the right back for us from the U-17 team fills me with a lot of hope. Oh, can you? Watch it live on YouTube. That's funny. It's game day and he uses a Pokemon. It looks like no one else is really saying anything. FIFA, man. I haven't watched FIFA in so long. Uh, let's share the foot mob screen because we'll probably be Second half is probably going to start soon. Look what happened five years ago. Our U17 team was one of the best in the world, and look what happened. Bro, whole city brought Ali Hiar, and he was on the bench the whole time. That's just one example. I know. Hopefully things will be different this time. It looks like these players are going to not make the same mistakes as the last one. <laughs> Tired the rest of the group. All right, that's fair. I respect it. I know. That's why I'm hoping it's something serious because he's been getting minutes, consistent minutes. He's been playing well, and that's always the problem. Dude, we should give a chance to other goalkeepers. Compare upon is not playing well. Dude, I. that's what I'm saying. Oh, second half started. Okay, we're back on track, lads. I don't know if we made any subs or anything, though. No, I, I'm sorry, but he's not overhated like at all. He's playing pretty badly, and he doesn't do as much as he used to. The amount of mistake, like the cons, do not outweigh the pros with Bravon. Dude, that was like two years ago, and that happens. Is def- it's it's not all his fault they conceded seven. It's on his defense as well. The thing is, is which mistake are we talking about? Because he's had a thousand mistakes recently. Guys, by the way, we're still at 30 likes by the end of today's stream for Noru Celebration. Can we still get this to 50? We're literally only 18 likes away. We have or- over 40 of you guys watching. Can we get the 50 likes? I know you guys would be uh, every like gets Iran one. Okay, every like is a better chance of Asmoon not being hurt. Seriously. that's That's the truth. I'm truth in here. All right, we got a free kick now. What's someone cooking up? Wasn't good, but it's another corner. Shout out to all the people doing the parlays in the chat. That's a corner, guys. Another corner. Dude, we shouldn't live off moments. Iceland keeper saves Messi's pen. Where is he now? It's so true, man. Literal, literal facts. Literal, literal facts.
What is going on? Who is that? Oh my god. It's Kanoni again. <laughs> oh, and he just hit the Sui, bro. Oh my god. He just scored one of the most trash goals. And he hit the bus Sui. Kanoni hitting the bus Sui. Utubus Su. That's crazy. I can't believe my guy's got a brace in this game. Man, the guy that I just don't like on the national team just got a brace. And hitting the Utubus Su. Uh, Haj Safi is not retired. Omid, he's not retired. He just didn't get called up. And I doubt he's going to get many to any more minutes. It's not even just I don't like his personality. He's just not a good player. Don't let his two goals today deceive you. He's not a good center back. It's cool he can score, but like... Ah, uh, man, that's crazy. I mean, I guess that kind of wraps up the game. The correlation between likes and goals still holds. Dude, Shaheen is on to something. I know he got the penalty against Japan. I know. I know. That was his biggest contribution and forever will be his only big contribution to the national team was winning that penalty. And then Baron with the shit goalkeeping, like that shot he had was so bad. And like, it was just such a, why was he, one, first and foremost, why was he so far off his line too? Why don't you just grab it? Why are you using your feet there? Like, that's what I'm saying. Baron pisses me off. He shouldn't be our goalkeeper. I'm sorry, but if you guys love him or not, but he shouldn't be the number one. And I really want that change to happen sooner rather than later. What do you mean he got paid for the third goal? The third goal wasn't Baron Vaughn's fault, obviously, because it was bottom corner, but my guy was shocking in that game against Qatar. He didn't even make like a single good save or even a save for us. Nima, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm trying, man. This is a lot. We've done a lot of watch alongs for Iran, and I'm going to keep the train going until 2026. Baron Vaughn's just shit now. I'm sorry. Mad props to what you did back in 2018, 2019, but dude, you're done. You're mid as shit now. Even though Kanani scored two goals today, guys, I still don't want him starting for the team. Ooh, is that a corner for uh, Turkmenistan? I appreciate it, Nemo. I try to anyway. Some people don't like what I have to say. Some people do, don't. Depends on the day, the time. I'd love to finally make a... Uh, an appearance back on Golbazan at some point. I'd like to. It's surprisingly, I thought was going to happen around the World Cup time, but it didn't. Maybe, hopefully at some time soon.
Yeah, Nima, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be possible, my guy. Due to copyright, I just don't think it's going to be possible. I don't want to get my channel banned. That's the last thing I'd want done. Getting a channel banned is not fun. One thing that rubbed me the wrong way about Baron Vaughn's injury was like people like Iranians like posting about it saying, yeah, that's what you get and like stuff like that. I was like, how does this make you any better than the people that you don't like that are causing harm to people? I don't know. I just didn't like that. That's just weird. That's very like hypocritical behavior in my opinion. Posting about like a guy getting seriously hurt in a game. Like what? Like, why is that? Why do you think that's a good thing? What has Baron Vaughn done to you personally? Do you even know the guy? Have you spoken to the guy? I don't like how some people talk about the national team players. It's okay to have an opinion, but do you, have you met them? Have you spoken to them? Do you know them personally? And that most of the time is going to be no. It's just what they hear. It's like te telephone in real life. Yes, Parham. Of course I remember you. Welcome back to the stream, man. We'll be live as well for the other game, the, the game in Turkmenistan. Oh, that was a bad header. You want to go to Iran for the Uzbek game? Dude, go for it. Good luck to you, UG. That'd be crazy if you pull that off. I wish I could join you for it. Damn, the game got really slow. I think the home game's already happened, UG. That was the game that the 2-2 game. So the only other game remaining between Uzbekistan and Iran is the game in Iran. And I believe that's the last game of qualifiers for this, this round. This is a good play from us so far. Nice. There you go. Mohebi. Got me assist. The 4 nil predictions, guys. They're coming real. Good finish by Mohebi. I was hoping that was Gorizad that, that scored there. That was good play. That's the play I was hoping for us to have more of throughout this game. Perfectly weighted pass. Good job by Mohabi to just hit it first time, not to do anything fancy with it. I mean, you said 5 0 last night. Honestly, your prediction's not too bad. I mean, it's only the 60th minute. Could happen. Uzbekistan looked totally deflated. They looked so much better in the first half, but now they just look so out of it. Good kick by Baron Vaughn if it actually went to Kolizate. Iran, all of the Middle East. 
That's crazy. I think we could see a five niller here, folks. I think we could see a. Damn, it wasn't bad if someone was just there attacking the... Oh, that's a bad foul. For the fourth goal, guys, are we going to hit the stream out to 40 likes? What do you guys think? Yeah, I think we need to sub out Mehdi as well. I mean, he's just coming back from injury. Probably should be a good idea to take him out now. No reason to keep him in the game. No, he still is a Japan merchant, bro. He scored the fourth goal when we were up 3-0 against Turkmenistan. Let's not get it twisted. Guys, let's get this stream to 40 likes. We're so close. It's literally five likes. Five likes if you haven't liked it already. I think if we get a fifth, I might wrap up the stream there just so then I can just get started with helping my mom making the sabzi polo mahi, you know? I know, seriously, this is the time to not bring on the youngsters. I don't know why we haven't done that yet. A little bit surprising to me that we haven't done that. Yeah, seriously, bring Gaidi, Saeed Manesh, that uh, Azadi striker guy. Uh, like, come on, let's see some new faces in here. Obviously, Norov Khan's a big throwback. Like to the uh, the to the Skochich days, Skochich, 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 throwback. I don't know. I don't know. He was always so controversial with his subs. What the hell was that? Yeah, the game is in Iran, yeah. The game next week that we will be live for will be in Turkmenistan. Game's a bit sooner in the day. God, that shit was so irritating. It was so, so irritating. Super irritating. I don't even think that was a foul there. Oh, that's not a foul. That's so soft, ref. That could have been the fifth goal. Oh, ref, don't do that to us. That could have been the fifth goal. That's so soft.
I know, seriously, that's such a big conversation to be said because Mohalu is so bad, I think. Like, he just couldn't even score against Hong Kong, and he had, like, a couple of good chances, but he played, like, straight gulag. Ah, good ball. Nice. Ah, oh, damn. Some Uncle Deuce really wants a goal. Ah, oh, so close. Gonna head out to football, bro. Good luck. Hey, thank you. Appreciate you stopping by, being in the stream. I know. I'm surprised that did not go in. Oh, the defender got it crossed. Dude, don't even know. Stop. I don't want Khalilzad or Cheshmi on the team. Another corner for Iran. See if we can get that fifth goal that I was telling you guys about. Oof. Good job. Ooh, he looks like that one stung a little bit. I know, I saw the banger. It was actually a really nice goal to his credit. I mean, scoring a banger is a banger. It doesn't matter what league you play in. A banger is a banger. The goals are the same. Oh, who's hurt? What happened with Hasba V? What's going on with his shoulder? I know Amu's getting mad, huh? Seriously. Now, it's something to do with his ribs. It's his rib or his shoulder. I can't tell. Yeah, there's the foul. I was about to say. Guys, I'm going to be honest. I think I might end the stream early today. I just, I don't know. The game's gone a little dry. I have a few things I want to do. It's my day off from work. I think I'm just going to, I might end it here. Unless you guys really want me to say. If we can get to 50 likes in the next couple of minutes, I'll stay on the stream. There you go. That's my retor return to you guys. I would love to see like Syed Manesh and stuff play, but it's just like we're not making any subs, we're not making any ch like changes.
Nima got my like. Good stuff. Yeah, I know. How are we not hit 50 likes yet? I'm so surprised by that. Oh, geez, he is turning on. Goal. Oh. Jesus, Norov Khan. Norov Khan should have just gone the fifth goal there. What has he done? And the game kind of got intro. Okay, Nima, just because you said, I'll stay. Just because you said it, Nima. Thomas, I don't know either what he needs to do. Oh, we're back with the super chats, boys. Bardia, thank you for the coverage. We'll oh, are we on? Oh no, he's not. I appreciate you watching the lives. I mean, we'll be live again for the match next week against Turkmenistan as well. Shaheen, thank you so much for being here as well. Nima, of course, man. I appreciate the super chats, guys. I appreciate it so much. I really, really do. Oh, you know what I realized? That should have been goal number five by good old Noor Afkan. The guy absolutely fumbled the bag. Dude, just one sub at the 70th minute. Who did we sub on? Oh, is it side Manesh? For Tatami, hopefully. Oh, it's a triple. Oh, it's a double sub. It's Clyde D and Syed Manesh. Side Manesh rocking the number eight. Finally. Took long enough. All right, Salman is off. Oh, it's a triple sub. Oh, yeah, huh? We're bringing in all the boys. Yeah, you mean Kayati. Yeah. Who's number 13? Is that Gorbani? Amu, listen. I think Amu should have listened sooner, though. Oh, that's Fala. That's who that is. Okay, that's Simon Fala. Fala should have just started the game, but that's just me. W subs, one time. No, I mean, yeah, those are good subs. Just should have happened sooner, that's all. Definitely should have just happened sooner.
Oh, bring on Shaq Cody. I mean, you just don't normally do that unless you're playing in a friendly. Yeah, I don't get why keep Todd me in as well. I don't get it, but... I don't totally get it. We'll see. We still have the game in Turkmenistan, too. We might have a pretty rotated squad for that. We'll see what happens. Who knows? I mean, Saibunch is still really fast. He's not slow all of a sudden. He's still really fast and really strong. It's a matter of making sure to just stay healthy consistently. Similar issue like with Asmoon. I'm not getting a lot of touches at the end of this game. Oh. Is he off sides, really? God damn it. I thought he was on for sure. Uh, I don't know. He might be on sides. All right, I guess we'll never know. That was not a great replay, but it's whatever. Not the end of the world. We have 15 more minutes to get the fifth goal. Yeah, Westerlo, I mean, at least he stayed in Europe. That's always a good thing. But, yeah, I wish he went to a better team in Belgium for sure. Another head injury, man. Super annoying. Oh my god, at least he said sorry. I don't know how many corners there's been. Couldn't tell you. I don't know. That is your mission, your quest to have to find out if you need to know. Is that what everyone put in their parlays is just corners? Oh, that was a really bad hit. Kanani and fucking doggy position right there. That's crazy. Doing that live in the game. Kave. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. He hasn't been he hasn't represented anybody, but he could represent Iran or the US up to him. I think he'll have a better chance with Iran. We'll see what happens. But based off of what I heard in the Golbazan interview, I don't think he's that interested in playing in Iran. He'd prefer to play for the US. With that name playing for the U.S., like Chris Wondolowski. <clears throat> if you did over five corners, there's definitely been over five corners, I believe. If it's in general, like in the whole game, yeah, there's definitely been over five corners.
Good job, Mohebi. Good turn there. Play someone. Thank you. Oh, what a save that was. Heidi does so well there. I really like that. That was a great save by Turkmenistan's goalkeeper. Fantastic save. Jesus. It's a good save. That was a good attempt by Kaidi too. Mm, yeah, good save. One plus corner, Rosinho knows. That's so funny. For all the corner merchants, that's another corner. That's definitely not a foul. Exactly. That's the most frustrating part because he's a good player. He's got good technical skills. He's built to be a good winger, but he just chooses to follow his girlfriend's love of shopping and going to living and playing in Dubai. Oh, man. I just can't like him because of that ambition. Apparently, there's been some Japanese clubs that have been interested in him. I know there was a rumor that Celtic were interested in him a while ago, which I thought was so sick. That was a good kick by Baron Vaughn. That was a perfect pass, basically. Jesus. Jesus Christ, matey. What was that? Such selfish play. He didn't even need to do that. He really wanted to get on the score sheet really badly. Guys, we only have 10 minutes left in the game. We're 10 likes away from 50 likes on the stream. Can we get to 50 likes? Can we please get to 50 likes? There's about over 20 of us in here. If you haven't liked it, we could easily get to that mark before the end of the stream. So make sure to like up if you haven't already. Good cross. Oh, that was a pretty badly hit by Mehdi. You can just so tell he is so out of form and he's like forcing things a lot. It just, ah, it's a little frustrating to watch. Oh, who are we bringing on? Who's this? Is that Jaloli? I freaking love the guy. Okay, I'm surprised that's not a foul, Ruff. I love Jaloli. He played so well at the World Cup when he got minutes. I think he should be our starting left back. And then it should be Milad Mohammadi. That's just my opinion anyway. I mean, it definitely is a foul. He doesn't even go for the ball. He literally tries to kick out on him. Not sure how that wasn't a free kick for us, but it's all good. I don't know, man. We just don't got those tall guys. All our tall guys play basketball, Rosinho. Oh. Oh, what a pass that was. And Tottenham fucking fluffs it. Oh, man. Maybe Tottenham should have been the guy to get subbed off because he's playing like absolute dildo water right now. 
Ah, uh, matey, matey, matey. Then like an absolute ding dong. He whiffs the ball. Swing and a miss. Oh, it definitely hits one of the player's hands, that's for sure. But his arm was tucked in, so it's not a big deal. Who is this? Who's number 19? No, this is not Jalali. Oh, is this the Azadi guy? Guys have to confirm this for me. All right, well, that striker guy's finally on with seven minutes to go. Probably should have been on a lot sooner, but I guess at least he's on. Look in the middle. It's a, literally, it's a 3v2. Ah, damn it. Another corner, though, guys, to the corner merchants in the chat. I just realized Gaidi took the number 10. That's crazy. So it is Azadi number 19. No way IAD tried to shoot that. And that's another corner for the corner merchants. Why did he shoot that, bro? He got so lucky they got another corner. That was so weird. Oh, what was that shot by Milod Mohammadi? How's Saeed Manesh playing? I think he's playing okay. He hasn't really gone many to any touches on the ball. I even, I forgot he even came on. Nice. Good tackle. Bro, uh, John, why don't you throw in a dono at, since you want all that money? Because I helped keep track of all those corners for you, bro. I did it all for you, man. A little dono, like a $5, $2 dono for the stream because we helped you out with that parlay, you know? Got to pay the tax, man. That's funny. It's true. I hate taxes. One of the worst things ever invented. Nice. Ah, oh, that was not well hit. All right, man. You guys all heard him. Next stream, I better see that dono from you. We'll be live on the 26th next week on Tuesday, so I better see it. I don't think we're going to get another one. Oh, shit. Uh, I thought they were going to...
One thing I was thinking about right now was I'd love to do like the oh 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 that might have almost been number five is like do it like an Iranian national team council like me Arya like from Golbazan Arya twenty nine United and Erfan we all sit down in a video and we just talk about the national team like the Iranian national team council what do you guys think of that do you guys think that'd be a fun video I want to upload something like that on the channel. Dude, great tackle by Fadla. I mean, Rev. And no way, that's the first yellow of the game right there. Yeah, I want to do something like that. The problem is, is coordinating it and making sure it's like the right time to do it, you know? Like, I want it to be when there's stuff to talk about for when it comes to the national team. That tackle was clean as shit. I'm surprised that's a foul in the first place and he got a yellow for it. That's crazy. Turkmenistan, free kick. The last chance of the game for them to get dissolve all clean sheet. Let's see if they can do it. All right, let's see this free kick. An absolute belter right at the wall. Oh, Azadi with the little quick feet there. I like that. But then a really bad pass. Don't shoot it. Just play it. Oh, that was actually a good hit by Norof Khan. Way better than his his sitter that he missed. Like I predicted, 4-0. Luke, you absolute legend. Good job, man. You get your crisp high five. Not a bad hit by Norof Khan. Jesus, communication. There you go. That's five. Is it Norov Khan? Third time's the charm for my guy. There you go. Five and nil. Holy macaroni, we destroyed them. Good for Nurov Khan, though. He he definitely wanted to get a goal. He got one. I'm not sure. It's one of his first ones for the national team, I believe, too. Ugh. The thing is, too, I feel like his other attempts were way better than that one. The goalkeeper got beat kind of cheaply there. I think goalkeeper got beat cheap. Five goals means 50 likes, guys. So are we going to hit that 50 likes or what? Are we going to get 50 likes for five goals? Let's find out. It's up to you now. We're still at 41. We're literally nine likes away from getting to 50 likes. We're so, so close. You did score, Omit. You did score. Somebody predicted 5-0. I know that much for a fact. I know Rip Luke's prediction. He thought it was going to be 4-0. All right, guys. Well, there's like one more minute left in the game. Nonetheless, for everyone that's on the stream, don't forget, we will be live for the next upcoming World Cup qualification match against, again, Turkmenistan, but in Turkmenistan on Tuesday. I'll be live at about... Oh, we're going to get another? He's offside. Yeah, he still skied it. We will be live at 7.45 a.m. Pacific time. 
that will be 10 45 uh, Eastern time. And then you guys can do the math for the other time. So don't forget to be there for that. I appreciate you guys that have, that have been in the stream the whole time. I've been here at least at some point during the stream. I appreciate it. And yeah, just make sure to be there for the next upcoming stream. If you haven't liked the stream, make sure let's try to get this thing to 50 likes, like I said, but nonetheless, boys and girls, uh, that's going to be the end of today's stream. The game's all finished up, and I hope you all have a lovely day.